Hi, my name is Thomas Easley. I trained and developed a series of AI chatbots to help my students at the Eclectic School of Herbal Medicine learn more efficiently. I did this after becoming enamored with the potential of AI in education when I watched an amazing TED Talk from the founder of the Khan Academy showing how they were integrating AI bots as essentially private tutors into their education platform. And I thought, oh my goodness, this makes so much sense. The ability to get that instant feedback, to have, uh, to have concepts explained to you uh, and simplified or made more complicated, to use AI as an adaptive technology to help with the learning process makes perfect sense to me. So I dove right in. I spent months learning how to code and program, and uh, I created these bots, and then I tested them with my advanced students. And I'm so excited to show you how you can use them along with the amazing content uh, at uh, Herb Mentor to really deepen your understanding and the learning experience. So let's just dive in. Uh, here we have uh, the main page of Herb Mentor and you've got lots of courses and resources uh, to choose from here. We can, ooh, here's my course. Uh, we can pick any of these and uh, use uh, AI to deepen our understanding. Uh, so we can pick a lecture or a resource. Uh, one of the great resources available on Herb Mentor is this anatomy and physiology resource. Uh, and so it goes through body systems and talks about uh, some of the uh, anatomy and uh, physiology. And let's say uh, that you get to a part that you want to know more about, uh, uh, like uh, hmm, this deoxygenated blood pumping into the pulmonary trunk uh, where it's oxygenated by the act of uh, inhalation. That sounds pretty neat. Uh, so let's just uh, copy this phrase over and uh, see if AI can be helpful here. So here is the herbalmedicine.ai site. Uh, we want to go over to Buddy. This is Study Buddy. They are probably the smartest bot on our site. And uh, Study Buddy explains things in great detail, simplifies things. Uh, I think you'll really like it. We can uh, simply go down here and say, tell me more, ooh, more about, uh, and uh, then it's going to uh, give us a lot of uh, detail. Yeah, that's pretty good. I do understand that, uh, but let's say I didn't. I can say, explain it like I'm five, and it, it will... Uh, really simplify any concept uh, that you ask it to. Or you can say, uh, explain it like I have a PhD. And it's going to explain it at a much more complicated level. You can do this with really anything. It doesn't have to be on anatomy and physiology. It can be about herbs. It can be about energetics. It can be about uh, any aspect of herbal medicine. Mm, actions and uh, energetics. Uh, so I wonder if that's Jim playing the flute. I bet it is. He's a very nice flute player. So this is my friend Jim McDonald and uh, this looks like an excellent video on uh, foundational actions, fluid dynamics, uh, damp uh, and dry. And uh, sometimes before I learn 
a concept from a new teacher, I want to have some familiarity with it first. So uh, I might uh, pop over to Buddy and uh, say, so we can just say explain damp and uh, dry in Western herbal energetics. And there we go, we have a pretty detailed uh, explanation. We can familiarize ourselves with the concepts uh, before we get into the lecture. Another great way that you can use uh, herbalmedicine.ai to deepen your understanding of uh, the great content on uh, HerbMentor is you can ask it to quiz you. I know if it's been a while since you've been in school, that might seem weird, but uh, it turns out that the testing effect is a very real thing and it improves both uh, the, the encoding the way we put information into long-term memory from short-term memory, and it improves retrieval, the way we pull memories from long-term back into our working memory. And I've created a bot called QuizzyBot uh, specifically to help with that process. Uh, so QuizzyBot can quiz you on anything. We were just looking at uh, fluid dynamics, damp and uh, the this traditional energetic concept uh, in Jim McDonald's foundational herb craft video. And uh, we can ask a uh, quizzy to uh, quiz me on, and we were just looking at damp and dry. So let's be specific and say the uh, energetics of damp and dry. And then it's gonna ask you about drying herbs. So which of the following herbs is considered a drying herb in traditional herbal medicine? Marshmallow root is a demulcent, that would be moistening. Slippery elm is a demulcent, that would be moistening. Fenugreek is an oily demulcent. It's not slimy like slippery elm and marshmallow root, uh, but it's still moistening because of its uh, high oil content. Ginger, on the other hand, is warming and warming things without demulcency are drying. So we're going to say B. Can you explain why some individual might need to avoid drying herbs like ginger? So that's a good question. Uh, we might say people presenting with uh, symptoms of dryness uh, should uh, avoid uh, herbs uh, that might worsen their dryness. Hmm. And the cool thing is when it is asking you questions or when it's responding to you, it, it oftentimes offers insight. Uh, so individuals who already have dry symptoms like dry skin, dry mouth, or a dry cough might find that drying herbs could exacerbate those symptoms. And so it might be more beneficial to focus on moistening herbs. So it's going to ask you progressively more difficult questions, questions that require you to engage your higher cognitive centers uh, the farther you go. So its follow-up is, uh, if a person is presenting with symptoms of dryness, what types of herbs might you recommend and why? So demulcents. Demulcents are indicated. Ooh, what might be the underlying cause of dryness? Uh, and how would you approach this from both biomedical and energetic perspectives? So this is a lot more complex to answer. So uh, overt, uh, dehydration. So it's going to go on and ask you about the symptoms of dryness and how you might assess it. It will also respond to your request. Uh, you could say, uh, 
Give me a 10. Multiple choice questions uh, on uh, damp and dry. And then we can go through and answer these uh, one by one. If you see an herb that you want to know more about, uh, number one, Herb Mentor has got uh, a great uh, selection of herb monographs to choose from. And you can get tons of detailed information on a wide variety of herbs here. But if you just want the quick and dirty, just a, a, a reminder of uh, the most important bits, uh, you can also go up here to Herbie, which is our Materia Medica bot. Uh, and uh, you can uh, say any question about herbs. It's not going to go in near as much detail as uh, the monographs uh, available here. But, you know, here's Blue Vervain. And this is a, a lovely monograph uh, on Blue Vervain, including energetics, uh, what it's good for, And uh, yeah, this is wonderful. Also, it's a lot. And maybe you just want to focus on the super specific uh, important clinical tidbits. So uh, you, uh, you could just say, tell me about Blue Ravine. And it's going to give you uh, an uh, overview. And maybe we won't specific indications for blue vervain, tension, nervous system support. Okay, so we could uh, say one, one sentence summary. And there we go. The, the nuts and bolts. Uh, so for detailed information, you've already got amazing resources. Uh, if you just want quick nuts and bolts, uh, Irby's a great resource for that. I hope that these videos have been helpful in showing you the ways that you can use uh, the student bot at herbalmedicine.ai. Hope to see you there.